Hello everyone. In a previous video, I showed how to energy minimize a box of water with respect to tip 3P force field. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take that final configuration after energy minimization and then start your equilibration and the main production run. In order to do that, we need these two files. One is known as eq.mdp, which is the molecular dynamics parameter file for your equilibration, and the other is the same for the main production run. So let's see what's inside this eq.mdp file. So as you can see, there is a title, which could be anything, and then we have to specify the integrator, how many steps we want, and the step size which is preferably two femtoseconds. And I am doing a very small simulation of only 10 picoseconds, just for demonstration purpose. But in reality, you will need a larger simulation time in order to equilibrate the system properly. And then how frequently I want to dump the coordinates so let's say 50 steps in XTC file, and there are the bond parameters and the non-bonded and electrostatic interaction parameters. And then there is the thermostat and barostat. And after that, we have the information about the periodic boundary condition, followed by the velocity generation according to Maxwell's distribution at 298 Kelvin. And the details about all these parameters and which value to set for what system can be found in the Gromax documentation. So please go through that before running your simulation to get a good understanding. And the same is with the md.mdp file, where I have kept the trajectory length a little more, 100 picoseconds and the other settings are pretty much same, except I have no velocity generation here. As we know that once the system is equilibrated, the last frame will have the information about the velocity and I want to start from those velocities. So I don't want to generate anything else. And there is a change in the thermostat and barostat because when you are starting your equilibration, it's recommended that you use Berenson barostat and v rescale thermostat whereas for your main simulation the nosey hoover thermostat gives you a good canonical sampling and the perindal rahman barostat is also more accurate than berenson so with these settings let's start our equilibration so from our previous tutorial we already have this em.grow file with us and we have to use that in order to create the executable for our next step. So let's do the grom with minus f eq.mdp minus c em.crow minus p topo.top and then the executable will be say nvt dot dpr this should create a executable file named as nvt dot tpr and we're going to run it in the same way so gmx mpi md run minus deffnm nvt and minus v for verbose mode and it will show you how long it will take. So it will only take around 30 seconds because I have only 5,000 steps in my MDP file. If you want to increase, the time will increase. And it's recommended that for big systems, you use a cluster or a very high performance computing power to run your simulations. So our simulation will be finished very soon and it's done and we can see that it has generated a lot of file where 
we need the mvt.grow that is the configuration written at the final step of your equilibration and we need this as an input to go for the final production run and there is another file known as cpt the cpt file uh, lets you continue your simulation from where you stopped your equilibration so these two files will be needed to go to the uh, molecular dynamics production run so i will keep the same uh, options so we can go to the previous command and just edit on top of it so you can write md.mdp and the input will be nvt.grow and these things will be same and i can write uh, production.tpr and there will be a file input for the cpt which is this one so if i execute this command it will produce the executable for our production run prod.tpr and we'll do the same thing as we did with the equilibration we'll just change the file name like this and let it run and you can see it's taking a greater amount of time so now it's 1637 and it's showing that it will end somewhere after like five minutes so your simulation is now complete and you can see there are a lot of output files so this dot xtc files they contain the trajectory in a compressed format and we can extract different information uh, based on the analysis tool available in Gromax or in VMD or your uh, own codes. So that's the file you need to get the time evolution of your system. And in this way, you can simply run a simulation with Gromax. And in the next video, I will try to show you some basic analysis on those trajectories. Thanks for watching the video.